Well, it's time to start working on this fence project again so we can let the buffalo out. All of our posts are already cut and loaded. So what we have here are our H braces. We need to go through here and angle cut all of these H braces and then we'll load them up and then head out and start welding. Uh, two of my brothers, my only two brothers, are supposed to be coming out later today, maybe. And uh, they might be able to help me hold this up while I'm welding and, and work on the concrete. So uh, look forward to that. But in the meantime, let's get cutting on this pipe. Well, we did a test run. Let's see if it fits. That'll be perfect. We just need to cut the rest now. Well, the chicks finally came in. The laying hens, anyway. Look at those. They look pretty healthy. These are called golden comets. They're a hybrid. Really cool little bird. These produce eggs really well, and they have a really good temperament. This is uh, the third or fourth batch that we've had of Golden Comets. Love this bird. They sent us some extras. There's actually 17 here, which is really nice. They are really vibrant and healthy. It's crazy how this works. They actually ship this through the mail. This is Cackle Hatchery. We've always had really good luck with these guys. They ship this through the mail um, right after they are born. Right after they're born, they actually have enough nutrients in their body to survive for a couple days without any food or water. It's really cool. Look at him going at it. Stick this little guy in the heat. Every once in a while they will mix up and they'll send you a rooster or two. But with this breed, it's really hard to mix it up because the roosters look quite a bit different. These are all hens. We've got this wire so that nothing gets into them. Barn cats can wreak a havoc on chicks. I think we'll stick some plywood over it, just as an added measure, mainly just to keep the wind out of it. This barn gets a little windy because it passes through, has openings on both sides. Well, it won't be long before they start laying eggs, about six months. They're only one or two days old now. I believe they were born either yesterday or Sunday. We'll stick a big hunk of metal on the top of that so nothing tries to pull it off. Those heat lamps are just to keep them warm. It needs to be somewhere around 100 to 105 degrees at the base level. I have two in there 
because they're not heat lamps. Actually, they're just a regular lamp with a regular bulb in it because it's a little warm outside right now and I think a heat lamp would be a little overkill. So they will be under the heat lamp for about a week or two and then we'll pull that out. Birds are awful noisy this morning, but it's time to finally start installing some fence. that we augged out with the skid steer a couple weeks ago have filled in a little bit so you just got to hand dig them out not too much of a pain except for it's rained and this dirt is pretty sloppy Now the trick to get these to stand up, they're always a pain whenever you try to get them to stand up because they're all wobbly and they have to be in the exact spot. That's not working. I'm gonna have to figure out some other way to hold it up. Last time I did this, I had two people, which makes it a heck of a lot easier. So I think what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna take a bag of concrete, I'm gonna put it in this one to halfway stabilize it, maybe two bags of concrete, um, and then maybe not even wet it down yet and do the same to that one so that they're halfway rigid because Everything that I can think of that would support that would either put it in the wrong spot or it wouldn't support it very well. So let's try the concrete first. Okay, that's better. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more bag in that side to see if we can get it halfway close. I think if these are halfway stabilized, then I can take the support across the middle uh, and it'll be fine. But it's just so, once it's trying to support itself and it's so wobbly, it's just impossible. This hole needs to be dug out a little bit more. Needs to go a little bit closer to the west. That'll work. I think I need another jig to go straight across from there because I'm using the tape measure and I can't hold that pipe up against there um, because it just wants to fall. So we're gonna go up to the barn and cut another one of these, but make it like 95 inches to span across there. This one will make it a little bit easier, hopefully.
Okay, we got all that tacked up and all the concrete in the holes. I don't think I'm going to put any water in it right now because that spout up top, I don't have any glue to glue the other fitting to put the hose on. So we're gonna come back through and put water in these and let the water soak through the concrete. But for now, let's move on to the next one, which is on the other side. that is all tacked up we need to come back through there and weld everything but it's all in place and the concrete's in the hole and then this one is tacked up this is going to be the entryway to that uh, cabin so then we need to come back through once I get that fitting fixed and soak all this concrete with water A little bit warm today, feels like summer. It's a little over 90 degrees, I think. Well, I need to put a post here and then the H brace needs to go to this hedge post here. So let's go grab a drill and then we'll put a piece of rebar that that H brace will be able to connect to that. Now, if we can just find a piece of rebar around here, surely I can find one piece, right? In this big mess, there's a piece. Now I just need to cut it. These ones are a little tricky because we tied into that existing hedge post over there and then I need to tie into this pipe here. All the wire is all jumbled up and we'll fix that later. So we need to go straight across to, to that pipe there. Yesterday we managed to get about a fourth of the way done putting up the uh, all the braces and corners and how I know that is because we have four pallets of concrete to install and we went through one so we have a little ways to go uh, needless to say 
that beehive that has been left over here, uh, there was a whole bunch of bees that were flying around it, and then there was a bunch of bees that were on the outside of it. Um, I wanted to check it today because I texted my buddy yesterday and he said that that could be the start of a hive. They also, what's called uh, beard the hive, which is kind of cool it off. It almost looked a little bit more like the start of a swarm, um, which would be they would break off and then you could capture that and start a new hive. Uh, they're still, yeah, they're not going at it like they were yesterday. Once I know for sure that that guy is not coming back for that hive, we will clean out all around there and then we're going to actually put another brood box and a super on top so that they can start making honey. It would be nice if I could get a second hive off of that one. You can see it starting to cloud up over here. We're supposed to have severe weather today so I don't know how much we're going to get done but we'll get done at least what we can and then come back for the rest. When I auged for the holes, I couldn't get a skid steer in here because it was so wet. So we'll see if we can hand dig this one. Well, that's just great. It's getting pretty dark over there. I don't think we're gonna get hardly anything done today. I don't mind working in the rain, but that can't get wet and the welder can't get wet. The two sisters are staring over the fence. What are you girls doing? You're waiting for your new pasture, aren't you? That field that they're on right now got pretty damaged last year. I'm actually pretty surprised that it's got the grass on it that it does now, but it's nothing compared to this. You can see that storm rolling in. It's not gonna be long before we're gonna have to quit. By the looks of it, I think they might be right. It might be pretty severe. It's really beautiful though. All that breeze is coming in right now and it's cooling it off. It dr just dropped like 10 degrees instantly. I think we'll call it a day there before we get all that concrete and the welder wet. If you guys are interested in those new Rome Free t-shirts that we just had printed, there's a link in the description below to our website. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.